What's going on guys, Kaiga here, and I'm going to start a new series today. I'm going to put out a video every day for the next two weeks telling you what you should be doing in your first two weeks of the game. The reason I'm doing this is the first 14 days of a server are on rails and all the events and everything are going to be very specific. So I'm going to walk you through everything you unlock, how you should be doing it, and let's jump into it. You'll scare the mice away. Yeah. Alright, so day one you're going to unlock a lot of stuff. So I will be skipping a few things so I can tell you more stuff for day two and then that's kind of how I'm going to try to do this is I don't want to overwhelm you with anything but I do want to talk about the important things you unlock that day and you need to be getting done that day so the first thing uh, as you're going through the missions you're going to unlock this is a purchase for one dollar and you're going to get a, a water flower fairy Kandok is one of the only healing fairies but she is not the uh, best in the game. What you're really doing this for is it's $1 for this mount right here, the Lightning Fox. And as it says right here, it comes with a privilege of auto gathering in the wild. That's a daily thing. We'll talk about that more once we get to that part of the game. Next, there's an event that starts immediately. Uh, as you see, this server started on 924. It lasts for four days and uh, you use these rabbit coins that allow you to spin. You get a couple from the check-in but most of the others are from purchases. The notable things you would get on here is uh, this title, uh, I forget the name of the title, and the crystal wings which you may see some of the bigger spenders on your server have. Uh, as you see double week check-in bonus this is the first 14 days of the server uh, once this is done you are in the wilds with everyone else you are getting the same events everyone else gets things like this but it's going to give you a bunch of nice stuff just for logging in uh, then uh, for the first four days you will get uh, some extra summons uh, this is exactly what shows the number one so it's one summon uh, on the what would normally be the paid summon pool it's one 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 and you see down here at the bottom there's three of them so you get six additional summons for free uh, this is a spenders thing right here continuous top up for the first f uh, five days if you uh, spend any amount of money in the game you will get one day right there two day three day four day five day and it could even be a dollar, doesn't matter what it is. But this is kind of uh, once you get out of these 14 day window, uh, monthly, you, we end up in this similar situation where it's a uh, rebate where they want you to top uh, a top up rebate where they want you to spend money and give you extra stuff. And then roughly uh, two to three weeks later, there is a spending event that you spend Kabbalah and then you get extra stuff that way but that's not really for the first two weeks there is one uh, towards the end of week one but we will get to that once we get there uh, this is your level up free stuff so as you get level 10 20 30 40 blah 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 you get extra stuff uh, newbie sign in you get these things every day that you sign in and the sapphire right here which is a currency in the game uh, you get double uh, this number if you have the monthly card which we will get into at some point uh, level 10 and it's it's not you being level 10 as it says it says clear level 10 main quest there's nothing that tells you what part of the main quest you're in you just kinda have to progress uh, this is for the summoning of flower fairies then you get your mount shortly after uh, it'll ask you to die it. Um, the moment you do the click, 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 follow the pointer, you can back out and don't have to use any dies. 
Then we unlock our closet, which is uh, how we decide what we look like. You can wear uh, whatever gives you the best stats, but for the closet, you can present yourself as what you think looks the best. Then we get into the next set. As I show right here, this is the mount. You pick whatever mount you want on the left. Uh, they, some of them, the more special ones, have more movement speed and effects. And as you see down here, you can dye it. Uh, and for all dyes, which we'll also talk about in the closet in a second, uh, most things have three colors on them. As you see, we have white, blue, and yellow, and you can change any of the three colors. Uh, you either get random patterns or you get uh, dye of desire, which lets you pick anything on the color wheel. As you see right here, dye of desire and the three colors on the palette. Uh, same thing with your closet, you can do the same thing. Each piece, though, has its own color palette, so you can do uh, chest, arms, feet, what have you. And as you see, this is a random palette. It'll show you five, and then it'll pick one at random. Uh, seal, uh, do right here. Uh, as you do these missions, you go up in your seal. Uh, once you complete the first four section so this is origin three you will get the rose knight armor which is a, a decently good set until you have other outfits that roll out on your server most of this is going to be increase your level increase path of fire sword and increase your cp is uh, once you start getting up that's going to be the ones that are going to hold you back a bit uh, you always want to be progressing your blue quests right here these are guide quests. They unlock different game modes and such for you. Uh, as you see, the main quest uh, says unlock Seal of Origin, which you would have to click up here. But when you go up here, it says to clear fire, uh, Path of Fire Sword, which you can't do until you do the guide to unlock Path of Fire Sword. So periodically, blue quests will show up whenever they do get them done because they're going to unlock different things for you. Path of Fire Sword, as we talked about, uh, it's right here on the thing. And do I go any bit deeper into it? Uh, there's a couple things here. So as you clear the different stages on the right, you will get rewards. And then uh, I believe it starts at stage four or five. You start getting AFK rewards. Uh, this can hold up to 24 hours worth of rewards. It's going to be a uh, golden uh, fairy experience. And you click this crystal and you claim them. Uh, the first couple levels are going to be level based and then they start becoming as you see right here my CP recommended CP you can push higher and the main way that you're going to be able to is up here in the top left uh, every I believe these are path of fire sword is uh, four day seasons and each season has its own elemental as you see Kandok which is in the offer uh, whenever you start uh, a new server starts it starts on water no matter what so if you spend that one dollar you have a uh, Kandok which is a 10% damage bonus just for having Kandok on your thing and then uh, I drink I can never pronounce her name Hydro is what I normally call her uh, which you would have to get her through some other means will give you another 10% and then people will go as high as they can and then you get ranking bonuses during the payout. Then you start getting these pop-up offers as you see Flower Fairy Collection Chest. Uh, once you unlock that, it gives you this as an option, which for $10 you can pick the Hydro. Uh, I don't recommend. I'll, I'll do a uh, offer guide later on, but if you're not sure if you're going to be spinning or not, go ahead and skip this. Uh, if you lose it, uh, this is decent value, but eh, if you're not sure if you're going to spin or not in the game, don't worry about it. Uh, Fire Sword Blessing. As you hit different levels, you get freebies, and then you can spend sapphires to get extra stuff. As well as Flower Fairy Link. Uh, it, mythical fairies are the uh, yellow rarity. You get free stuff as you summon them. I think it goes up to seven. And then you can also spend money to get more stuff down here. 
Uh, this is uh, one of the best bang for your buck offers in the game are these things down here. But as I said, if you're not sure if you're going to spend yet, go ahead and skip them for now. Then we have chests, as you see. Um, so I have maps for all the chests on my Discord server, link down below. But for specifically Kog'Maw, the um, stage 1, 2, and 3, uh, they've added a couple chests to the map. Just be watching the screen as you walk around. All of these chests that have been added, I believe uh, four on one, uh, three on the second, and four on the third, uh, all of these are going to be in very obvious spots as you walk through doing the mission. Uh, all the other maps are perfectly up to date. Yeah, as you see right here, the chests to the right, the special chests uh, will, if you get um, all the special chests for the region, so Kog'Maw 1, Kog'Maw 2, Kog'Maw 3, if you get all the special chests, you unlock uh, something special. Well, you get the three pieces. You go to the Wonder Creator, which is a, uh, I don't have her on this thing, but she's a blue quest. Uh, you buy her uh, thing for gold, and then you can craft uh, something cool like a title, things like this. Ancient Ruins uh, at level 27. Uh, they're going to have, most of them towards the beginning, have mechanics. For example, uh, these beams right here heal him. So as you see, I'm standing in front of the uh, laser, which is stopping him from healing so we can kill him. Uh, this is also going to give you drops for uh, weapon and armor upgrade material right here, as well as a loot table at the end, as you see right here. Uh, equipment enhancement, level 28. Uh, you use these upgrade materials to bring them up and this is going to be a big thing right here uh, because at least for uh, the first while what do you upgrade first the weapon only takes the weapon but there's six pieces for the armor and if we take a look over here to the right it tells you what it increases uh, I need to go to the next thing slides and if you get everything to plus 10, you get a bonus, plus 20, plus 30. As long as you get everything up to a plus um, 10, then you get a different bonus. But taking a look right here, the hat gives HP and attack. The gloves gives attack, defense. Uh, the bracers give uh, attack and defense. Belt gives HP and defense. Boots gives AP and defense. And chest only gives HP. I would suggest upgrading in that order, uh, hat, second row, third row, and then chest last, because it only increases HP. Then uh, in the 30s, you're going to unlock the daily quests, which you'll get uh, you'll, tons of experience and other stuff over here to the right. And at the top, you'll get a few more goodies. And if you, it's a $5 one-time purchase which if you are going to spend any amount of money in the game, I think this is a fine pickup. Uh, this will give you bonuses for each of these every single day for forever. Uh, so it's going to be two additional summons for free every single day. Uh, as you see right here, what I'm trying to show right here is the Peak of Neverland up in the top right hand corner. Uh, this is quests that you're up against against uh, everyone else. Uh, every day a new one will open and then you will uh, go against everyone else to get additional bonuses as well as right here uh, see the guide right here gather or this how this is an introduction to gathering uh, go on to the next one yeah see uh, right here this is the peak of Neverland for example, on day one, uh, Path of Fire Sword is available for two days. Uh, the goal is to get to at least 30, so you get all these freebies right here. And then the ranking is going to matter. Uh, these top three right here, these are th uh, these traces, as well as uh, skill rubbings, are some of the most massive upgrades for your personal character in the game. 
Then we have Ruin Challenge, and this is a way for free-to-play players to get some pay-to-win stuff. Uh, so you unlock them at every uh, level, so 50, 60, and then it starts doing skips. Uh, it does some weird level increments, 60, 80, well, sorry, 50, 60, 80, 100, 110. Uh, so first clear bonus, this is if anybody clears it, even if you weren't in the team. Uh, personal first clear is when your team beats it for the first time. And the first team that ever clears it gets this bonus, which is this uh, Kabbalah right here, which is a pay to win resource that you can primarily only get through spending money. Uh, do yeah pick a neverland uh then you should be joining a guild uh theoretically you should uh if you're just trying to do the best join like the top one right here uh that has the most people in it but uh i also suggest uh, just as a person joining people that you're friends with things like this uh then you will unlock some game modes so like exp pool that you unlock at 30 uh you're going to end at 57 i believe well well i 56 or 57 i'll tell you more at the end but you're going to hit the next tier today uh this isn't three attempts per one it's three attempts per day so you do the one attempt so that you can get the uh xp for doing it daily and then you wait to level 50 and come back and do the other two. Uh, this is what I was telling you about before. Uh, tutor and Apprentice at 42. Uh, do I show anything about this? Yes. So this is the what you get. You need to be level 55 to be a tutor. You need to be 42 to be an Apprentice. And uh, an Apprentice gets, if they do all these daily things, they get EXP bonuses. They get a bunch of freebies, and the tutor gets uh, cosmetics uh, and such for helping their apprentice through doing their dailies. If you want to double up, which we're not at the level of yet, but once you get marriage, uh, you can kind of double up on this and marry your apprentice. Alright, that's done, that's done. On to the next. Uh, then we unlock uh, the uh, fairy bonuses right here. So you get a bonus for having two of the same fairy on your team. As you see, uh, max HP protection rate. And then at level 90, uh, it gets you get more stuff. Uh, ideally, really, at least in early game, just do whichever uh, set you have. Uh, whatever monst whatever the monster is weak to, we'll talk about uh, which ones are better later on. Six star flower fairy. So this is really really great. Uh, clearing stage uh, forty five side quest. Uh, this will be a pink quest with her her logo on it. You go through it uh, right here. Uh, flower fairy fountain of wish. You get shards of her until you can actually summon her. And then once you do, uh, you do daily stuff, you level up, and then more of these uh, cultiv uh, cultivation ones upgrade as you level. And then like bring Iris, which is a uh, purple water unit to six stars, uh, which will be uh, yellow one. And then you get these things right here, which go towards leveling her up, Lotus. Then we unlock the ladder, uh, at least in the beginning you get some free matches as you go up. It'll say the username, guild name, and their CP, as well as their current ranking. Uh, if you're able to, uh, go after people with higher ranking so you get the most bang for your buck. Uh, you get 5 free attacks per day, and you could do 10 charge uh, attempts for Sapphire. But uh, you can save these if you want to do one week where you do a big push, what have you. Then you get AFK rewards that you get the ranking rewards right here. Spend them in the shop. Uh, 
point rewards is for hitting new milestones like 1200 1300 what have you and last but not least you also get a daily payout at 9 55 p.m server time costume collection this is a trap for a bunch of people uh, let's see if i have a thing about this yeah so a lot of people are you're gonna have a green quest right here monster leather uh you go to Tess, you talk to her, and then you go pick up this, and then you get some fur. If you're doing your uh, 15,000 AFK farming per day, uh, then you will never need to actually do this quest. This won't help you in any way, it's just a thing you can do. Uh, this was around since before the 15,000 came into play, and you can get more fur than you need. Just by doing your AFK farm, put your phone to the side, go to bed, you'll be fine. But you will use them to put together. Uh, spindle is for clearing Path of Fire Sword. Monster Fur is what we just talked about. And this third one right here is from doing... Where is that? Uh, ruins. Uh, what, what's the name of it again? Ancient Ruins. Uh, go back down here and then you put them together to get these ribbons and you use ribbons to unlock outfits uh, keep going pat 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 okay then we get expel incident you can do uh, all six of these per day and then you see down here uh, additional rewards uh, as you complete these, these are going to give you a huge amount of EXP. If there are enough players on each of them, there's a treasure goblin at the end. Once he dies, he blows up gold and sapphire. Definitely go to max out these sapphire every single day if possible. And this is an example. It says four more players needed to awaken the treasure goblin. Uh, ascending weapons. Uh you need an extra copy of the level once we get to 58 and we'll talk more about this tomorrow but uh you get this weapon which they automatically give you a cannon you can get a cannon for free to get this immediate elite one star without needing to do anything special and then you'll get this at every new uh weapon tier or outfit tier where they give you an offer of that level uh, the price goes up as you go higher and then they will give you uh, one copy of the full armor set some upgrade materials and I believe at 60 plus they give you uh, a weapon selector for free as well uh, what to do with your old ones you have specific Miro upgrade things right here as well as all the old gear 1 5 20 you feed them to Miro and it gives you CP as well as unlocks different bonuses as you see dance xp and other flower fairy teams uh exploits these are do i have a picture uh these are uh achievements and they give you titles and sapphires do, 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 do. and that is the end of day one recap which we will end at level 56 I hope that helped you all out, and until next time, guys.